The brain is a complex organ made up of billions of cells called neurons that are wired together in an integrated network of circuits and chemical communication. This communication, among other functions, is the basis of our cognitive abilities, including processes like attention, learning and memory, language, problem solving, and decision making. Neurons manipulate chemicals and electricity to pass signals to each other through their connective gaps. Electricity moves through the neurons via generation of an electric gradient. When the electric signal gets to the terminal ends of the cell, it must jump across a synaptic gap to communicate its information to the next neuron in the signaling chain. To bridge the gap between two cells, neurons use special signaling molecules called neurotransmitters. The electric signal from a presynaptic neuron triggers the release of a package of neurotransmitters into the synapse. These molecules traverse the space and are eventually caught and bound by specialized receptor proteins on the membrane of the postsynaptic cell. Like a key opening a door, once the receptor binds its neurotransmitter, a pore opens in the receptor protein complex that allows charged ions from outside the cell to flow in. The difference in charge generated by this ionic movement can trigger an electrochemical signal to propagate throughout the cell, which again ends in neurotransmitter release at the terminal. Which neurotransmitter and how much neurotransmitter is released into the gap tells the next cell, the postsynaptic neuron, the strength and the nature of the information. The trick is, presynaptic cells in different brain regions release different neurotransmitters, and receptor proteins on the postsynaptic cells only catch, or bind, a few types of these molecules. This allows for cell-to-cell -cell and brain region-specific signaling networks to be built on different chemical languages. The neurotransmitter acetylcholine is used for fast signaling between cells because its receptor responds quickly when it binds. Acetylcholine binds a family of ligand-gated ion channels called nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. These receptors naturally bind acetylcholine, but as their name suggests, they can also bind and be activated by nicotine. This molecular interaction triggers system-level activation that can lead to behavioral changes that smokers would be familiar with. They can enhance cognitive ability and reduce the anxiety. These are noticeable effects, but what you don't know is that changes also happen on the molecular level that can lead to specific variations in the type of nicotinic acetylcholine receptors your brain expresses, and these differences may lead to protection from certain neurodegenerative diseases. We study where these receptors are and how they interact with nicotine so that one day our understanding will lead to cures for diseases. But most importantly, the interaction between nicotine and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors forms the molecular basis for nicotine addiction. Smoking has been a leading cause of preventable death for the last several decades, and despite our ever-growing knowledge, a reliable smoking cessation agent has yet to be developed. Obviously, we still have many unanswered questions, and there's a whole field of scientists looking for answers.